Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Sunday, December the 18th. It's the fourth Sunday of Advent, and thanks for joining me. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. The King of glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. The earth is yours and all that is in it, the world and all that dwell therein. Amen. Psalms 24 and 29, and please recite them with me. The earth is yours and all that is in it, the world and all that dwell therein. For you have founded it on the seas and established it on the floods. Who shall ascend your holy hill, and who shall stand in your holy place? Those that have clean hands and pure hearts, who have not lifted their souls into vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. They shall receive your blessings and righteousness from you, the God of their salvation. This is the generation that seeks your face, O God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Lift your heads, O you gates. Lift them higher, you everlasting doors, and your glorious ruler shall come in. And who is this glorious ruler? God the Most High, strong and mighty. God the Most High, mighty in battle. Lift your heads, O you gates. Lift them higher, you everlasting doors, and your glorious ruler shall come in. Who is this glorious ruler? God the Most High of hosts. Our God is the glorious ruler. Amen. Give God most high, O oh, you mighty people. Give God most high glory and strength. Give the glory due God's name and worship God in the beauty of holiness. Your voice is upon the waters. O oh, God of glory, you thunder. You are upon many waters. Your voice is powerful. Your voice is full of majesty. Your voice breaks the cedars. You break the cedars of Lebanon. You make them skip like a calf. Lebanon and Syrian, like a young unicorn. And your voice divides the flames of fire. Your voice shakes the wilderness. You shake the wilderness of Kadesh. Your voice makes the calves be born and discover the forests. And in your temple, everyone speaks of your glory. And you sit upon the flood. You sit as ruler forever. You give strength to your people. You bless your people with peace. Amen. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The King of glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. The prophet Isaiah, chapter 42, beginning at verse 1. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry out or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be crushed until he has established justice in the earth and the coastlands wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Most High, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am Yahweh, I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison those who sit in darkness. I am Yahweh, that is my name. My glory I give to no other, nor my praise to idols. See, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare, 
before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Sing to the Most High a new song, his praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the coastlands and their inhabitants. Let the desert and its towns lift up their voice, the villages that Kedar inhabits. Let the inhabitants of Salah shout for joy. Let them shout from the tops of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Most High and declare his praise in the coastlands. Here ends the lesson. Defend us and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our hope, our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O God of beauty and holiness, mighty and strong, we praise you hour by hour. Grant us your strength and bless us with your peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.